Okay, intro in one minute or less, please start the timer now. You can see we're not an ultimate team. In the past, I've been willing to sacrifice my mental health in order to keep playing ultimate team. I think I don't want to do that anymore. So we're on seasons and we'll go road to division one or as close as we get to it before the new FIFA comes out. Why am I doing this? I want to stay warm on FIFA. I still do want to play FIFA and I still do have that itch every single day to play a soccer video game. Why Borussia Dortmund? They just put up an absolute fight in the Champions League final. Slightly inspiring. Wanted to give them another shot. Mm, I will say I am in literal division 10 right now. So do I expect the competition to be insane? Probably not. However, it must be acknowledged that I'm not the only one who's feeling uh, the burnout from Ultimate Team, so there could be some, a couple demons in these lower levels, but hope that was under a minute. Let's get into it. And of course, if you want to see more of these, more of my videos in general, you can totally subscribe, as I believe that helps with that. Dortmund PSG, we saw this one in the Champions League, didn't we? Also, why is Mats Hummels not on the list of people that Germany is bringing to the Euros? That seems insane. But the main man in this team, when... Jaden Sancho was originally on... That's stinky. When Jaden Sancho was originally on Borussia Dortmund, oh my gosh, that team was so fun to play with. And also there was obviously a Holland and a significantly lower rated Jude Bellingham then, right? But that version of Jaden Sancho was redonkulous. So I'm definitely... Let's deal with this. Nice. And man, there won't be a lot more time to use Mr. Marco Royce on Dortmund as well, which is crazy to think. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to one of my boys about how... Good finish. I was just talking to one of my boys about how Marco Royce, every single career mode used to load up, that was always someone you were like, dude, if I can get him in the squad, the team would just be nasty. And it's so crazy that, again, he's not old. Like, you're, in soccer terms, old for sure, but in real life, actually, no. Um, but gosh, it probably is over in... Uh, in Europe or on Dortmund at least for him very soon. That's a bit delayed on that skill move. We get clamped up right there. Again, I failed to look at the badges and see who has what. Looks like Savitzer Savitzia. He's got the gold pass, the golden ping, which is one that I love. I'm telling Julian Brent to slow down. Okay, <laughs> I'm definitely looking for a fancy shot right there. That's fine though. Do have Jaden Sancho on just free roam, do whatever you want right now. And that he is, man. He is doing, in fact, oh, whatever he wants. It's a closey. I guess PSG is a lot less... Why would he just pass it there, dude? Come on, guy. But PSG is definitely a lot less OP to use now. Oh, double bar? Um, Not quite working out, is it? I guess we'll get a penalty from that. Okay, maybe it was too obvious. It is cool to see, though the different mistakes that people make at different levels because that pass that that guy just gave away I feel like on ultimate team that just does not happen at whatever level I'm playing at now and again I'm not good I'm just trying to point this out here we go one thing remains true among all levels though Mbappe is gonna be good and he's gonna be fast the current date is the 3rd of June 2024 and it's expected that Mbappe is going to Real Madrid to like official announcement unveiling tonight or tomorrow. I can't remember. And to think when he leaves, one, this PSG team just got a lot rougher. A lot rougher. Uh, but gosh, that Real Madrid team on FIFA. Holy moly. Is that going to be a demon squad or what? And that's going to be a Black King squad as well. I mean, that has a lot of the best black players in the world, which is sick for them. I love that. Oh, that's a cute little move. I'll keep this one on the ground. Dude, the timing is off. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. I feel like I have not played a ton of FIFA recently because I've been grinding X Defiant so hard. And if you want to see a video about that, oh my god, please let me know. I think I'll probably experiment with one soon. Oh my gosh, also, post-edit Cole, can you please put every single game on the screen that I want to play right now? And if you want to see any of those or don't want to see any of those, please let me know. Because that will either delay or put forward those videos in the queue. But I definitely was trying to get to the point of, I'm trying to stay warm on FIFA. Like, I'm not just trying to lose everything and then have to remember how to play when uh, the beta comes out. Hopefully I get on the beta, but here we go. Love that pass. Four again. And I definitely need some, uh, I need some TikToks to upload during the week. I definitely... I'm trying to think how, how long could I just do Pro Clubs videos only for? 
God. And there's been a ton of looks. This would be, this is definitely one of those games that I throw because I've had so many good opportunities have converted only one. Throwing a missed penalty in there as well. That definitely doesn't do us any favors. Go to Sancho. He runs by. Good control. I'm gonna roulette this guy. It's a red time on the finish. And I, God, I'm just not used to the shooting on here. Lots of just poorly timed shots. Clamp. Good, Ryerson. That was tough. I think the fake shot in general is good, and it's not just Julian Brandt. So we'll put this one on the ground. That's a good take. Even off the red that goes in, that's interesting. Who was that? Daniel Malin. Yeah, he's definitely got the shot power, or at least it feels like it. Gosh, I really... The next game I might have to use England. I... That one will just bounce, and that's got to be frustrating. But there are so many menaces on England. Gosh, you really do wonder how they do with the Euros. And I get it that it's England and typically don't win a whole lot. But, I mean, bro, this team... And I mean, I guess people have said that in the past before, right? When they had just the absolute god squad in the midfield. But bro, this team, like the England team is so good. So, so good. You think about Foden, you think about Jude Bellingham, Decker's in the middle as well. John Stonesy in the back or the middle. I wonder if Sancho's in there. I don't think Rashford's in there. Um, Kane, obviously. I mean, dude, so many options. I don't know if you can bang these off corners in seasons. You can obviously do it in foot because people's stats are so cracked. Oh. Okay, so that's possible. That's just going to be a little bit more precise than the ultimate team, I feel like. It's Madsen. Schlotterbeck. Up there doing his thing. Another roulette. God, the roulette has been so cute. Working so well today. Okay. Mako. Good pull. God, that almost looked like it was moving in slow motion, honestly. I guess he just beat him off the angle right there. Okay, that, kind of, that sounded a little bit weird, but... <laughs> he placed the ball so well, scoring from the angle. Oh, yeah, so I don't know if I've said this before, but my... I don't know if this helps anyone, because everyone thinks differently, obviously. And again, I'm not that good at this game, but... When I'm thinking about long shots, I'm definitely thinking, my mentality is you definitely have to beat the keeper for pace on the shot, power on the shot, whatever, or placement. And on ultimate team, you can end up beating the keeper for both a decent amount of the time because everyone's stats are just so good, right? Release the Kraken. Oh my god. See, and that's a really good example of beating him for pace and power. Like, the way that ball was put just under the crossbar that is never going to get saved and in the speed at which it was going absolutely redonkulous that is so funny that uh i could provide an example of that just like that that's hilarious that is definitely what you get when you're in um god just the low divisions of seasons and dang man this real madrid team like it just makes you worried like are they just going to win again next year i wonder who's the i mean obviously man city's probably the biggest threat but wow that team is going to be diabolical Symbolically good. Let's get into the next game. The show. One more. You see how we line up with this team? This is a really good team, bro. I will say, not the hugest fan of the England jerseys in general. Also, Jude Bellingham gold badge, Kane gold badge, Foden gold badge, obviously Trent gold uh, long ball, Trippier gold, also shout out Trippier, former athletic boy, but Trippier gold whip pass. You're telling me we can't get Sokka some gold badge, bro? And maybe this is a little bit of favoritism for me just because I got him on ultimate team and he was insane. But that's kind of, I'm trying to think if that's surprising to me or not, that he doesn't have a, a gold badge. In the last seasons or online friendly game I played with a big dude up top, I did very, I did a very bad job of getting him involved and utilizing him well. So I'm gonna try to be a lot better with that about Kane today, or for this game at least. Okay, this guy's doing skill moves. So this, I already, you can tell, this has gotta be a little bit more competitive than, than the last. Let's just probably get him sent off really quick, right ref? That's fair, I guess. Sokka. You see Jude making the run. Light skin king. There he is. I'm looking at Kane already. I don't even play... Okay, I guess I won't try to play her lock. <laughs> Judith Amir. That's a save? That is a great save from him. Unfortunate for just the scrappy goals. And they're not pretty and they're not fun. They really aren't. Kyle Walker to get around his man. You're honestly telling me that Dembele just strength Kyle Walker? That is so interesting. We'll go back to Jude. And again, this was throwing out challenges. It's working well for him, I'll tell you that much. This guy's gonna be on a couple cards going into half. He should be. Jude's over there to contest. Sokka, I have told you to one-touch that. You really just haven't listened. But here you are in space, and that is what matters. Space pace. 
He's Jude at the near. Dude, the timing, bro. My timing has been so bad. Okay, and he quits. I'll run another. I'll run another. This one might be cut up real short, though. I won't lie to you. England versus England. You love the ditto. Yeah, what is going on with his cane? Like, his person is, like, actually... Dude, yeah, what is going on with that? I just don't even know. Harry Kane's off a gigabyte or something right now. He's bugging. Okay, that's a bit scuffed. To Sokka. On the floor. Good finish. Uh, you don't like to see the Paulus come up that early. Um, yeah, what is this guy doing, man? Good finish from Bells. Um, I guess he just put his controller down. So I think if I stand here long enough and let him stand there long enough, the game will auto-kick him. So I guess I'll just try to do that. This is so interesting to do in Division 10 of Seasons. Okay, you lost connection to your opponent. So that is how that indeed works. Okay, three games, three wins. I'm trying to think, did a goal actually get conceded today? I don't know. Look at that, already up a division. Clap it up. And yeah, the score lines have been, gotta say, very good, I guess, if uh, if there's been no goals conceded. But that's definitely all for today. Definitely all for today, but I will, gosh, there'll be more seasons. And yeah, I wonder when, what division do you have to get into to the point where just the menaces are there? Because obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be in there. I'm trying to get in some skill moves, some a little bit of toxicity for sure, so. Yeah. Uh, we'll get there eventually. Woo! Brazil!